Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Happy weekend, everyone. I hope you've been happy with the lovely spring-like weather. If it was a little too toasty for you, well, I have some good news, and that's that temperatures are going to drop just a little bit, but still what will be unseasonably warm. Take a look at your 24-hour temperature change. You can see a little cooler in some areas, Santa Cruz into Watsonville, down to Monterey, and then our valleys sitting pretty much where you were yesterday. So give or take a couple of degrees, but by this afternoon, I think we're all going to be a little bit cooler than where we were yesterday. We just talked about right record breaking temperatures yesterday today don't quite think we'll be there but some areas could get close to 80 degrees this morning mid 40s to some mid 50s dress in layers if you're headed out now for the rest of your day not necessarily cold out there but you definitely have that chill especially if you're spending a prolonged period outside but look at this this is the time of year where some areas are still who very chilly like Bismarck North Dakota seven degrees and then we have some relatively warm conditions towards the south and pretty mild conditions up in the northeast. But as for us, we're going to see slightly cooler temperatures coming your way, but still rather warm. So compared to most of the United States, with the exception of Texas and the southwest, California looks pretty warm and toasty. Mid 60s to mid 70s, maybe even those low 80s. Now up towards the northern tier of the U.S., that's the only area that's seeing some of that snowfall. And then the Pacific Northwest, relatively warm. This next system coming in, if it brings them any rainfall. It is going to be rainfall. Want to take a look at the latest drought monitor. Not much has changed for us. We are still seeing some abnormally dry conditions very far inland. The coast is okay for now. We still could use a little rainfall, so these rain chances at the end of this week, still a good thing. Some chances and potential for some April rainfall. Now last weekend I showed this and Lee and Art continue to show it as well. And we did have extreme drought conditions in parts of the LA area in Southern California. That was the shade of red. Now they no longer exist. So that is a good thing with all the rainfall we've seen this past month. Now taking a look at your future cast, you can see this one first week front that comes through. It's going to slightly drop our temperatures, shift our winds from the northwest instead of mainly the west southwest that we'll see today. And then by your Sunday, we're going to see another front coming. I think we're still going to be warm ahead of that front. So meaning Easter Sunday should be quite nice with lots of 70s across the area, lots of sunshine as well. Then that next front comes through. It does weaken as it does so and then high pressure replaces it and looks like we're going to warm up nicely once again for the middle of the week before the next system comes at the end of the week. As I mentioned, it could bring us some rainfall. Mid 60s to low 80s for today. Mild to warm temperatures, slightly cooler than yesterday, but overall pleasant conditions. If you're headed out to the water, it is looking like we are going to be seeing very little waves for today. The surf only one to three feet. The water temperature getting a few degrees warmer. You'll notice that if you're heading out there, but it's those warm afternoon temperatures that make it feel quite nice across the area. Taking a look at your KSBW 8-day forecast, there's the Easter Bunny on Sunday waving hello. I'm happy. Happy I don't have to deal with rainfall. <laughs> That'll come by the end of the week, but it looks like we're going to have a nice holiday weekend. Great for egg hunts tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be in the 40s and maybe some low 50s for Sunday morning. Rain with